you should keep your pencils at the ready so you can make any annotations if you don't have your original papers in front of you then you can write on any bit of scrap or wait for the video but if you're going to wait for the video you make sure you watch it so that you can take notes and make corrections especially if you left whole questions blank here we go I don't know another way of doing this one I got the right answer and so did a lot of you I know that I've got three times as many 10 P's as 20 P's I know that they told me I know I've got 1700 P's it's a lot of pennies in a jar I know that three times a certain number of 10 P's plus one times a certain number of 20 P's when put together will make 17 quid and now I'm just going to multiply out my equation so I've got 3 times 10 is 30 I've got 30 times a certain number of 10 P's X times 20, 20X I've got a certain number of 20 P's now that all comes to 1,700 pence now altogether 50 lots of something comes to 1,700 divide by 50 I've got 34 somethings 34 heaps of coins either 10s or 20s now I'm told that I've got three times as many 10p coins as 20p's and they want to know how many 10p's I've got well I've got three lots of this portion of coins which is three times 34 which is 102 now that's how my brain saw it if, if you saw it differently and reached a correct conclusion that's good if you just gave me a load of maths and put nothing down here I don't know what you're doing and neither do you okay so don't don't let the examiner i.e. me decide what your final answer is I'm looking for steps to give marks there are three marks but if it's jumbled maths it could be neat and jumbled it's still jumbled and I don't know where to award marks question two I saw many different methods that you produced uh, I was looking to give five marks that's what the GCSE question says now this is the way I did it and why I did it the target is 60% grade C or more therefore if I could work out the actual percentage I can then conclude did the school meet its target all right so I took my cue I took my hints from the question what do I need to do to work out the percentage of those who get C or higher well first I need all the students in the year group and you don't have to write down nothing plus 8 plus 20 plus 43 what a waste of time just write down the word total students equals 240 and then write down the number of students who got a grade C or higher add up these numbers 132 I've got two marks and now I'm going to work out the percentage of those who got C or higher 132 over 240 times 100 tick there's a method mark 55% tick as my answer mark and you've got to answer the actual question did the school meet its target nope tick all right you get a mark for the nope because if you've got all the evidence that comes before it then that was worth the mark if you just write down no you get zero for it okay now if we're using a calculator because this is a calculator paper then use your calculator don't try and break up the percentage into 10%, 1%, 8%, 3%. Don't, don't do that. There's no marks for filling up all the space with a whole load of meaningless numbers. Don't do that. It's not worth anything. It just confuses me, the examiner. Just keep it simple. A few words will help. Total. Boom. Grade C or higher. Boom. One step calculation. Boom. Answer. Conclusion. Five marks. this annoyed me greatly don't think you're going to get a mark by writing this 68% of 40, 480 equals 
You just get one mark for that. She got the right answer. You do not show your working. And the English says, you must show your working. This is me showing my working. The sir, it's the same as that. No, it's not. I'm showing you I know what this means. And I'm showing you that I know how to use this to get the right answer. Of means multiply. 68% means 68 out of 100. All right. You've got to show this. If you don't show it, you get one mark, two marks, and that's your lot. That's it. Do not write on the dotted line here. Do not write, oh, that is bigger than that. Isn't that obvious that that is bigger than that? Isn't it obvious that's a bigger number than that? It says, which is greater, this or that? So one of these two lines must be on your dotted line. And I didn't use a dotted line. I put it right there. This is greater than this. Well, how do you know? Well, because that's bigger than that. If you tell me that's bigger than that, you don't get the mark. Did you not answer the question? Right. This was badly done. Badly done. Please note this is question 4A, which means that 4B is going to come up on the next section of paper. Remember, I split the questions right down the middle so it's even and balanced. So tomorrow you would do period two ratio calculations, question 4B to question seven. So this is 4A. It's not that I forgot to put 4B, but I didn't want you to see question five as well. It'll be too much. A drink is made from this many liters of orange juice and this much lemonade. So they can make fizzy lemon orange juice. The total is nine liters. So you're looking to divide something by nine. What fraction of the drink is orange juice? Well, it's 1.5 liters divided by nine. And Hudson, you don't divide by three and get 0.5 over three. That's not simplified. If you multiply by two, you end up with three over 18. Now that can be simplified, it's lovely whole numbers. Is that okay? Now what Hudson did was, it wasn't wrong. I think I gave him two marks for it. So let me actually write on this, if it will allow me. Live, here I go. So, so Hudson said, well, 1.5 is like, 0.5 over, what's that, 3? Is that correct? Yeah, that's the same. But that's not simplified because I've got a decimal on top of a number. This is simplified. If you now multiply top and bottom by 2, you will get 1 over 6, won't you? Which is the same as what I got. I doubled it initially so that I get whole numbers. If you got this far, you still got to double it to get to whole numbers. Is that okay? So I'm going to leave that as an alternative because that's that is not wrong, but it's not finished. That's now correct. Okay, children. And question 4B is fair. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an easier way than that, but anyway, I'll leave that to you to try to figure out. If you've got nothing else to do today, I just want to recommend that you get on with it.